right, in this video, I want to show you how you can use the morphing text justification to justify your paragraphs, or sort of justify your paragraphs. So what do I mean by justify? Justified text, uh, typically, you know, Word documents and whatnot, you have left aligned, but when you have justified text, basically it's left aligned and right aligned. Notice over here, when you have left aligned text, you'll have some spaces left over here on the right. And then scrolling on down, uh, I say sort of because I'm using the unhyphenated approach. And when text is technically justified unhyphenated, it will end a word before it goes to the new line. On this sample here, you can definitely see how the words are spaced out on each line. Sometimes the letters appear farther apart and then sometimes they're squished together a little bit more. And here's a few more examples that I want to show you as well. So taking that same lorem ipsum, this is actually bacon ipsum, but anyway, it's just a bunch of random words. But uh, what I want to show you here is how you can incorporate images and you can have your text wrap around that image. And notice here we got filet mignon meat loaf. And I'm actually leaving off the A there. I need to go back and adjust that. That's perfect for this tutorial because I can show you how you can incorporate several of these components and uh, change your text and colors and spacing and all that, and it'll still look okay. And this is a more practical example, the astronomy picture of the day. I've done a tutorial on this many years ago on how to get the image and get this text in here, but now using this justification with morphing text, you can see where it says a few bright stars are in a well-known but rarely pointed out, and you can see how the paragraphs just keep on going. So we have and a digital image processor down here. This river connects to several bright stars on the right that are part of the blah, blah, blah. So the words will wrap to the next line and this text is justified. We have left aligned and right aligned. So to give you a quick rundown of how this works, this is a component. It's called justify and word wrap sort of because we're sort of justifying and word wrapping. We're just not using hyphens. You can get this from my free components folder and when you open it up uh, by default when you go to your globals you're going to have some text and this is where you want to put your text that you want to actually see. So I just copied over some lore and ipsum and it's just a bunch of random words related to bacon in this case. But you can put whatever text you want inside of here. RSS feeds or anything like that. Now the cut num, this is what I'm doing here is I, I'm taking a, a certain number of characters in this case 26 if I raise this number up, you're going to notice that the text starts to uh, get closer together. And if I lower this number, the text is going to get farther apart, as you can see there. So I'm essentially right now cutting the text to 26 characters per line. This is the code to actually get each new line that we can copy and paste quickly. Notice I'm using the SI module index. And then I have this extra piece that I'm going to show to you right here in a second. But basically what I'm doing is I'm taking that text, whatever text you have, we're going to cut it and we're going to use it based on that cut num. In this case, cut num is 26. We're going to multiply that by the module index of that particular morphing text that we're going to quickly copy and paste. And by us using the module index, it's going to make sure that wherever one piece ends, the next one's going to begin. You'll see this in action right here in a second. And then I have plus GV extra. GV extra is going to be used for when we want to create a new paragraph and maybe change the style of our text and the spacing and all that, the GV Extra is going to help us line up where one section ends and the next section begins. And this is where we'll actually add a new component into here. And then once we cut that text, that certain amount, whatever that number may be, we're going to show cut num characters after that. And I say cut num characters, in this case, that's going to be 26 additional characters. So then you can apply whatever font you want. You can change your font size. We can make this bigger, as you see there. We can adjust the width of each one. And then we can position this thing. For example, maybe this one needs to be in the top left. And uh, if I come back into my globals and adjust the width down some more, you know, if you wanted to stick an image somewhere over here, and you may be thinking that the text is getting smushed, well, there's a couple of things we can do here. We can come back up to cut num, we can lower that to space out the letters even more. And we can also come down here to vertical margin and we can space out the lines between each piece. Now this initial one, the extra is set to zero because this is the first paragraph or the first section that I'm including here. And then you can add whatever color you want. 
So let's build another section to this and let's have it continue on where this one ends. Because like I said, maybe you want to throw a picture over here in this corner. So what we can do here quickly, we can copy. And before we add another section here, I'm going to come into this component and I'm going to go to that stack group. And uh, quickly, all we have to do here is take that morphing text. We can copy and paste that and we can get our new lines, as you can see here. And you can notice several spots like sausage, pork, chop, buffalo, let's see, uh, down here, filet mignon, we don't have the N here because it goes to the next line. Then we have meatloaf and we almost have turkey. So I'm going to add a new section down here beneath this and we're going to resume this text. But before we do that, let me just jump into one of these morphing texts here and just showing you the text that we're getting. And it's really using that GV line code. This is where it's cutting a certain number of characters from the text and then it's going to display a certain number of characters after that. That's the TC function. And again, this uses the SI module index as well. That way we can quickly copy and paste to resume our lines and resume that paragraph. Then I have my global fonts and sizes as well as the color. And then we have our actual text justified underneath the mode for that morphing text. And finally, let's take this component, let's copy and paste it. So copy, paste, and I'm going to take this section here. I'm going to position it by moving it down. So just in my Y offset here. And we're going to come in here and change the way this one looks. So maybe somewhere around there is where you want it. And I'm going to head into the globals for this component now. I'm going to bump this width all the way back up somewhere around like 700 maybe. So now we have some really spaced out words. Maybe you don't want them as spaced out. So to decrease this space in between them, we can come back up to the cut num and we can raise it up. This is going to allow us to have more characters on each line. To make this one look even more different, let's change the color. Let's decrease the vertical margin. And maybe we want to see more lines of this particular section. So you can take any one of these morphin text and you can just copy and paste it and you'll see those new lines getting generated below. Now let's get this text to begin where this first section ended. And this is where we can go into our globals and we come down to extra and we want this section to begin where we have meatloaf turkey. I want to see the Y in turkey here. So reading this text, basically what we want to do here is if you look right here, filet mignon, meatloaf, and then we have turkey. I want that Y to be right here. So we can adjust the extra until we get to that particular spot. But uh, there's the meatloaf, so I'm just going to tack on a few little extra pieces, and then I'm going to go to where the Y is the first character in this section. So where this one ends, meatloaf, turkey, pork tail shank, it's going to continue right on. And you would add your other sections accordingly as well. And again, just bear in mind you can change the styling for these. I don't think I changed the font, but we can definitely change the font as well. And this gives you your own custom justified topography inside of your preset component or whatever else you may be doing with custom. And there you have it, sort of a way to justify your text. And this will work with any text you want to add, whether that be pulled from the internet, you know, RSS feed, or in the other example I gave you, the APOD NASA picture of the day. And by the way, you can find both of those presets as well in my free wallpapers folder, the APOD NASA, as well as justifying and word wrapping with the bacon pictures just to kind of give you some ideas of how you can uh, apply this technique to your preset. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.